What's going on Omni Buddies? Mitch here and today we are doing another Omni Buddy unboxing. What are we opening up? Well, we got a few things. All right, so both of these uh, boxes actually ugh, came in one today and one yesterday. Uh, both of them come to us from channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. If you don't know about Organic Price Books, I don't know where you, you have been for the past year or two, uh, if you've been collecting comics and uh, collected editions, but they are, uh, in my opinion, the best in the business. Um, they have the best packaging, the best customer service response time, and just overall customer service and some of, if not the best uh, prices in the US if you are adding codes and free shipping and all that stuff, cannot beat them. Check them out. You can use code OmniBuddy for two bucks off every order. Or if you're ordering three or more books at the same time that are coming at the same time, be careful with those pre-orders because you have to wait till the last one comes in. You can use code OmniBuddy, ship it together all one word and get 5% off your entire order. So you can save a ton of money and definitely get some of the best prices you will find anywhere on the interwebs for collected editions. All right, so let's get this out. Okay, so let's uh, let's just start with the top box. You know what, let's go with that. So starters, double walled, super thick uh, boxes that are insanely strong. So you, they can be drop kicked across the planet by USPS or FedEx or UPS and they're gonna survive. You got your uh, little uh, attention mail and pale mail inspector saying these qualify as media mail and a little note from JP saying thanks for ordering. And then what is awesome is uh, not only is it really good quality packaging, but look at this, look at this. It's very like recyclable because there's a lot of paper and less plastic and foam used which I appreciate plastic and foam, but also it does, uh, it's not, I mean, you can reuse it and all that, but it's not as not as nice when uh, the environment, anyways. Uh, but <laughs> I do gotta say, everything's got like these stamps on it. I don't know if one of uh, David's kids from the at the warehouse got into it or something, but both boxes are just covered in stamps. And actually, I gotta cover up the shipping label here, but uh, the, these boxes are <laughs> in stamps too so this is pretty cool actually I haven't seen them do this in a while they're always kind of playing around and experimenting with different uh, packaging and shipping methods um, so sometimes like you'll get uh, and actually I kind of pre-cut open a couple of these both of these boxes so I can kind of you know less cutting on camera but um, one of them's just paper and then all the books wrapped up in plastic and then this one paper with boxes with each book in a box inside of paper inside of plastic so just I mean <laughs> you cannot which these are actually great if you're just selling one book at a time to ship because these are nice boxes too they're not double walled but they're super nice quality actually and they're not damaged at all so uh, let's cut these bad boys open see what we got uh, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I don't do a lot of Marvel and DC, actually. I, I like them. They're good, but I don't have a ton of all that back knowledge for that. I, or at least I feel, I, I probably do have a lot of it, but I don't feel like I have enough to really talk authoritatively on the subjects all the time. So I try and do like the one-off books so you don't need like a ton of historical uh, franchise knowledge um, and all that so yeah so that was in plastic wrap and then in plastic you have then foam so I don't know how it would be physically pop what a shipper would have to do to damage your books uh, these ones actually uh, that I ordered are from the damaged section which means there could be returns just slight bumps and corners so I mean if there's any damage to these books, it's because they were the ones that I ordered damaged. So, <laughs> okay. So, and some of them they send, uh, they know I don't care that much about perfection with my books. So some of these are the ones, if you watch their uh, quick looks or quick over first looks and things like that, some of them they actually send to me because they know I don't care that it's sealed or anything like that because I pop it all open. So 
book one, we have the Warlock Omnibus. So yeah, I jumped into some Marvel here. We got some Marvel Warlock Omnibus. I freaking love Adam Warlock. Um, if you have read, I'll open up the next book while I'm, while I'm blabbing. Ugh, okay, throw that book down, box down there. Yeah, more, more stamps on there. That's cute. What is it? Is that a little Adam Warlock? No, I think it's a little Superman. I think it's a little Superman. I think the other one was a little Batman. Um, anyways, so if you have read, so one of my absolute favorite Marvel uh, storylines has been the Annihilation, Annihilation Conquest, Road to War of Kings, War of Kings, and Realm of Kings. Um, that five Omni series is insanely good. It's actually, what is it, like right here, yeah. So I have it right here. These five, I have a different uh, custom DJ on here, so it looks a little different, but um, these five are kind of like the quintessential uh, main story, uh, like main cosmic uh, saga from, you know, like current age. And then you have like Thanos, Infinity Origin, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, and Infinity Crusade. Uh, I think there's one more Thanos something after that that's not necessarily fully tied to it but you could go in there but that's kind of like the older marvel saga um and but that current you know annihilation conquest war of kings series is just freaking awesome and warlock adam warlock is actually one of the main uh guys in that series and that series just absolutely made me fall in love with warlock he is so <laughs> So BA and so cool. And yeah, I just uh, had to have that book because I, I need to read more of the original kind of Silver Age. It's like the, the original stuff. So it's not like a current age thing. So it's definitely the old school, um, older looking art, which is actually some pretty cool. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, I love like uh, Silver Surfer and... Doctor Strange, those old school books, like, oh man, so good, uh, from what I've read so far, uh, oh, and then, you know, um, Walter Simonson's Thor, just freaking awesome, man, they take care of packaging, sheesh, all right, let's get this open, so, speaking of Warlock and War of Kings, there was a reprint of War of Kings, and this is the DM variant, so, They've sent this to me, hooked me up with it because I have the other version. So now I'm going to do a full overview uh, of War of Kings, but I will um, talk a little bit about the other four books, the you know three on one side and one on the other. But uh, this is the kind of main event. And actually, uh, probably my second favorite of the five books, my first favorite was actually Road to, or like... Is it Prelude? Is that what it's called? I think it's Road to War of Kings. And then, yeah, Realm of Kings is after this one. But Road to had some really cool, like, kind of the calm before the storm, which I absolutely loved. And then this one is the storm, and it is friggin' crazy and awesome. And then Realm of Kings kind of wraps up the whole thing. But I'm going to do a overview of this. So be watching out on OPB cha OPB's channel because I'm going to be doing a big old overview on there. It'll also hit my channel too. So be watching out for that. All right, let's get into, got another one from JP. So now we have, uh, we have this paper on top. We'll open it up. And then, oh, uh, so this one's wrapped up in plastic. Comes with some of the, uh, the old bookmarks, which is, oh, nice. Bat Daddy. So uh, we got, I believe that's David from J from OPB. Uh, call him Bat Daddy. Uh, if you watch their Whatnots uh, sales and all that, I think it's like every other Sunday they do Whatnots and sell off some of their damaged books and things. Uh, JP's hilarious. Or JP and David, they're both hilarious on there and just talk and you know, it'll be like hours of hanging out. So like I don't even buy anything on the Whatnots. I just go on there and hang out on my phone and chat with them a ton and it's a lot of fun and so if you're not on there definitely hit them up even if you're not going to buy anything maybe you can score some cool deals uh but oh man let's get this out of the way so this is all packaged up in packaging material so holy cow all right let's get this 
open, find stuff on the sides. So, oh, oh man. So we have, yeah, so I don't really normally buy a lot of Marvel and get a lot of Marvel, which is kind of nuts. Um, but we have, so those two Omnis, and then we have a third Omni. And now I have a video, I've had a video on FOMO for like a year and a half, two years now. And in that video, one of my biggest tips, my really only tip is to wait and to not give into FOMO and wait it out. Uh, sometimes I follow my own advice and sometimes I do not. This time I did not because sometimes you can't afford not to with the whole licensing thing. So we have Savage Avengers. This is the DM cover. Uh, sometimes you cannot wait because uh, you never know if Marvel's going to be able to reprint with Conan and Titan getting uh, the Conan license. Um, so you got to jump on it sometimes because you never know. So if I don't, I've heard it's just bonkers and bananas and super cool and just savage. So I'm very excited to check that out and, uh, but could not wait on it because you never freaking know where, when stuff is going to go out of print. And so speaking of stuff going out of print and missing out, um, and then sort of coming back into print, uh, I got to cut the foam packaging off from around this one. So this one, these hardcovers went out of print a while ago and have been kind of hard to find, but they just made, Image made a compendium of it, and it is a thick boy. So we have Black Signs by Reminder. Uh, I mean, the art in this is just insane. I read, I've read um, probably the first five or six issues when it was coming out, um, when I still read single issues, and it was pretty cool but I had to make that tough decision on what to cut and what to keep. And this got to cut because I was reading like uh, new 52 Batman and Batman and Robin and Aquaman, and then um, reading a couple other ones. And I could not keep like 10 single issues cause I'm not that rich. Um, but now they have made the compendium so I can read it. And if I really like it, hopefully they come back and print the hard covers. But I'll be doing an overview on that relatively soon, too, through OPB, so watch out. Um, and then, so let's cut these open. Some of these I forget what I've ordered because, you know, you pre-order a long time ago or uh, you just kind of uh, see something that uh, tickles the old fancy and you decide to drop it in your cart and <laughs> go with it. And uh, then you kind of forget what you ordered. And I... Oh, that's right. That is right. So, huh. let's get this open. Sorry, you're I'm like cutting stuff off off camera here. So, jeez. Okay. Man, they're really good at packaging stuff. So, I'm very, very... If you know me, you know one of my favorite tunes is Avatar The Last Airbender. So, they've been doing comics on this. This isn't the obviously not the library editions, but they do like a bunch of paperbacks, like these small like paperbacks like three of them and then they combine them into a uh, library edition by dark horse and whew, tough she's she's a beast she is the best i am so excited to read the power of Toph. i totally forgot that this was coming out but i friggin love avatar and Toph is i think she's my favorite character in avatar i'm gonna i'll, I'll probably go on record saying she's my favorite um so very excited for that one. And then we got something that just kind of looked super interesting and I wanted to check it out because I'm not sure if it'll be age appropriate for my nine-year-old daughter or not. We'll find out. I got to read it first. But we got Flavor Girls hardcover by Arcadia Press and very, looks super cool, like very interesting, fun, kind of looks like, you know, the old like, oh, look at those end, that end paper. That is that is nice, real nice. Uh, so, looks really cool. Some fun art. I definitely wanted to check this out and see. Uh, people have been talking about it a lot um, that I've been seeing online. When I saw it on there, I was like, what is this? And so I went and I looked it up and people have been talking it up. So I was like, okay, I need to check it out. And uh, I couldn't figure out if it was good for, uh, like as an all ages book or if it was good, um, uh, or if it was going to be, you know, not good for kids. So I definitely wanted to check that out and see because 
My daughter, uh, one of my daughters, my oldest one, nine, who's nine, uh, has been loving comics. She's been really getting into Sonic and all of that. So, and then we have uh, Carmen um, by Clover Press and uh, Alex Schrader. Um, Jeez, this is a bigger, this is a lot bigger hardcover than I expected, but some super cool art actually. Really cool. I dig this kind of art style. So, looks pretty cool. Digging it. Uh, I love. I dig short books too because they're uh, just quicker to read and kind of get through one and done stories and super cool. So, all right, let's pile them up here. We got oh, Carmen. We've got uh, Adam Warlock, War of Kings, Savage Avengers, Flavor Girls, Black Science, and The Power of Toph. So, some super good books, y'all. Super good books. All right. Well, I've talked your ear off enough. Um, Man, really excited about this. So relieved to have uh, Savage Avengers and not have to worry about that licensing. Um, and if I, you know, if I can't get to it for a long time to read it, I don't have to worry about trying to track it down in the future. So, uh, so I know that uh, JP over at OPB just got a shipment of them in. So if you've been looking, rush over there and get it. Use my code, support my channel, support OPB. They're a great company. Uh, great few people over there, like small business, doing huge things. So uh, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Do all those things. But most importantly, comment. What book did you FOMO over? Let me know in the comments. Was it Savage Avengers? What's the latest book that you absolutely FOMO'd over? You don't have any idea what it's about, but everyone's been talking it up and you were like, I need to get on that before it's gone. Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.